looking at that beautiful video there of the boat there on the river. That was probably the calm before the storm right. um, at some point because, right. um, yeah, that, that sunshine out there, we uh, not seen too much of it lately. We haven't had much calm between the storms right. from yesterday right back at it this evening. Let's bring in meteorologist Ray Petla now see where things stand, Ray. Well, here in town, we're calming down. However, down south of I-70 is where we find most of our activity. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, uh, some severe thunderstorms uh, over there as you get uh, towards the base of the the uh, northern panhandle of West Virginia. That's going to cut south of our area, but Greene County from uh, just outside of Rich Hill to Waynesburg down to Blacksville. We have this cluster of storms that has some uh, potentially damaging winds to the tune of 60 miles per hour and the potential for large hail as this moves southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So Blacksville, this is going to be bumping up towards you eventually on towards Morgantown. That's where this severe thunderstorm warning ends. So Morgantown, pay close attention to this one because if this gets extended, it's going to get extended through your area. Now those storms just east of this have been allowed to be uh, uh, taken out of the severe thunderstorm warning until you get to Garrett County. Bittinger, you're getting that heavy precipitation. This is going to cut just to the north and east of Mountain Lake Park. So this one again has some potentially damaging winds and large hail with this as this also moves southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So this is in effect until 645. So about a, another half hour, just less than a half an hour with that one. So three severe thunderstorms nearby. You'll notice most of this activity is I-70 and south. That means Pittsburgh's clearing out Washington City clearing out still little activity on the Washington Green County border up in Newcastle, Butler, Greensburg, all looking good. Indiana, Catanning, Clarion. So the storms are going to continue to settle to the south and everyone's going to start to get in on the partly cloudy skies tonight. 72 degrees right now in Pittsburgh, mostly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy. Newcastle, a few more peaks of sunshine reported up in Butler, 64 in Indiana with mostly cloudy skies. And then it's between Washington and Morgantown where we're finding most of our storms right now. A few peaks of sunshine trying to emerge in Pittsburgh. We have temperatures right now hanging out in the low 70s, 5 to 10 mile per hour northeasterly winds. So now that those winds are coming out of the northeast, we're going to cool off and dry up. To, uh, dew points have dropped a little bit. We're down into the lower 60s. That's just to the point where you can start to sense it. And our dew points are going to fall down into the 50s tonight, becoming much more comfortable. So the humidity forecast is going to become a little more bearable. As we go through the night, it drops well within the comfortable range and stays there through much of this week. It's Friday afternoon. We get a little spike into early Saturday before the next cold front comes in and turns on some showers and thunderstorms. So Futurecast here shows these partly cloudy skies taking over tonight. A little sunshine early tomorrow. However, into the afternoon. I don't think there's going to be the dynamics like we had yesterday or today, but there's going to be enough to squeeze out a few showers. So that's what we'll be dealing with. Just a hit or miss shower for tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening. Those clear out of here and then we're going to get a few days with some sunshine attached. Drier conditions in respects to humidity and rainfall and temperatures are going to be pretty comfortable. I think right into Friday they'll be hanging below average at first and then they'll start to gradually warm up. So tonight 56 degrees. The thunderstorms are coming to an end. We're going to clear those skies out a bit. Northwest winds at 5 to 10. So we're going to get those winds shifting a little more 75 for tomorrow. A few showers around temperatures a little below average. Typically we'd be closer to 80 degrees. We're going to fall shy of that early sunshine during the afternoon is where we'll start to find those showers scattered around. So around lunchtime and after and again, temperatures a little cooler than we've become accustomed to those mid to upper 70s Wednesday and Thursday too, with some sunshine attached back to the lower 80s on Friday, a partly cloudy day there. The humidity will be rising through the day and Saturday some thunderstorms scattered around, but I think the second half of the weekend and start of next week look really nice. Highs near 80 degrees both days with a little bit of sunshine there as well. And with a few more scattered showers around tomorrow and some great weather to round out the week, it's always good, even in the nice weather, to have the KDK weather app on your mobile device, hourly forecast, daily forecast, and a whole lot more, all for free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in your app store and Google Play.